The idea is really simple, you know, we just want to create a place where transgender people can tell their own stories. That's visible bodies. This started as a student project. There were five of us at University of California, San Diego, who participated originally. Um, after that student project began to wrap up, we opened the project to the larger San Diego community just to see how it would do, to see if there was interest. And there was a lot of interest. We ended up with 31 transgender people who participated. We had a gallery opening for the San Diego project back in May. We expected maybe 80 people to show up to the opening, and we ended up at the end of the night, I think the final headcount was somewhere around 200. Um, but beyond the sheer numbers, the really amazing thing about that night was the, the feedback that we got about the project. I had one person who's cisgender come up and tell me, you know, I was forced to confront my own judgments by looking at these photos and reading the words of the people in the photos. I had a parent come up to me and tell me how empowered her child felt by being a part of this project. So that was just, it was, a, it was an amazing night. After the piece in The Advocate came out, we started getting calls from people all around the country saying, this would be so cool to have visible bodies in my city too. So we've decided to branch out. Uh, we've got local organizers in Minneapolis and Portland that are ready to gear up and start their own visible bodies projects. That's where you come in. Help us bring this conversation about trans people all over the country.